Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking you for giving us this opportunity to entertain you with a short little fable about marketing that we hope will make a point. Here's a short Ignite style presentation, which we call A Tale of Two Brandings. We'll begin with a story about a famous brand. I think you'll recognize this logo. Of course, it's everywhere now, but when it first started out, there were concerns about the brand, and as they expanded, the various managers, departments, and regions decided to design their own variations because the color just doesn't say coffee. I think it's boring. It needs to be colorful. We need something special for our special products. Shouldn't she be wearing a bathing suit? What's with the fins? She should have harms holding the product. Hey, it's all about the coffee. Hey, it's all about me. My daughter did this great logo. We have a unique clientele. We need to identify with our region, like Texas, Canada, and Saudi Arabia. If this had been allowed to go on, here's what you'd be seeing today. Of course, this is not what you're seeing today. What you're seeing is this, and this, and this. Why? Because they understand the importance of consistency in establishing brand integrity and sustainability. In fact, they've been so successful, they can now dispense with the name and go with just the symbol. With that story in mind, let's look at another brand. And I should interject here that none of what you are about to see is meant in any way to embarrass anyone. Some of what follows has been done with the best of intentions. This logo has been controversial too, and some of the same questions have been asked of it. I think the colors are boring, and so is the type. I'll just make my own. Our logo says what we are. Our logo says everything. Our program is different from the rest of the college. Our program is special. Ours is too. Like most colleges, we have a special logo for our sports teams. People have fun with that too. And students have a lot of fun. So here's just some of the fun. But where is Pierce College in all of this? This is what Pierce College is. But logos are just part of the problem. When we look at various websites, the same problems come up. Only now they can be seen worldwide. In one click, we can go from here to here, or here, or maybe even here, Pierce College, Los Angeles. And on social media, it's getting really confusing. Here are just a few of the Facebook pages that have our name on them. If you were a student or a potential student and came across these pages, what would you think? These are actual examples we have found in print, on the web, in blogs, on Twitter, and Facebook. This is what our students in public sees. Which ones are Pierce? Which ones are real? Here is what Pierce College actually looks like in print, on the web, on Facebook, and in blogs. In conclusion, we know Starbucks doesn't want to be seen as this. Do we want to be seen as this or this? Of course, we don't have the ability to saturate even our own community the way Starbucks does. But that is why, with fewer opportunities to be recognized, it is even more critical that we be consistent. Every time someone sees something from Pierce College, it's an opportunity to reinforce our good name, our quality image, and our strong brand. We hope this little demonstration will help you understand the problem. We can't fix this without your help. We will help with training materials and support for the whole college community. We are all part of the same college, and our goal is to remind you what a great college this is and how its great image consistently utilized enhances the college and every individual program and department.